Hi everybody, it's Kevin Rayburn and I'm back at the Photo PXL studios here in Indianapolis. Boy, we've been having a lot of fun over the last few days making videos in regards to printing and different things you can do with printing, big, small, and in all sorts of cool stuff. And um, today we're gonna cover one of the things that no matter how you print is a must, and that's monitor calibration. And like everything else, I'd like to show you in regards to printing, it's simple. So the first thing you gotta do is go buy yourself a calibration tool. Now this is the X-Rate Color Checker Display Plus. What it's gonna do is go out and take a look at the brightness of your monitor and run through all the colors against what real colors are and then make the adjustments so that your screen will give you the most accurate representation of the images that you're working on. And um, I set my timer to calibrate every three weeks roughly. Uh, you can set it sooner or longer depending on how you like it and you'll see how all that's done. So on the screen itself, I've already downloaded the uh, software. The link for the software is on the uh, back of the box. So you just go ahead and download that and install it and you come up with a screen as you see here. And we can display profile, profile a projector or do a scanner. And what we're going to do right off the bat is we're going to profile a display. So the window pops up and we'll go to this window here in a second, but the device that I'm gonna be using is this. And it's a, a little kind of device and it has um, a cover, a diffusion cover that goes over the sensor. This monitors the ambient light, you'll see how that's used. And you kind of have a weighted little puck, which as you'll see in a minute, hangs over the screen, keeps it in place. So here's what we're gonna do is follow, follow the directions. We're gonna be doing an iMac and we can decide which way we want to set this up. And um, we're just going to go GB LED since that's what this is. Uh, we're going to go with DC65 white point. There's a number of different white points you can choose, but just for the sake of this, we're going to go DB65. Uh, luminance will be 120 and a tone response curve. And you have a few of those custom sRGB, a BT. We're just going to go standard default for this. Uh, it's a 2.20 um, setting. So it's pretty simple. If you just use the default stuff, it'll get you in the ballpark where you need to be. So once you have all that set up, what we're going to do is we're going to hang our puck. So we take the diffuser part off, reach around, it's already plugged into the USB port. And right now you're also seeing the uh, uh, color profile to where it is. And we're gonna to try to always, you know, get a good center white point as it shows and as we as we work here. Uh, profile reminder, as I said, I'm gonna set it for every three weeks. And click on the button below to begin creating your new profile. We position this so that this is flat against the screen. It's got like a little rubber bumper. So it gives you a little illustration. Sometimes you just have to tilt the screen. And we say, okay and then hit the next button up in the upper left corner. So it's going to take a few initial measurements. And what it's checking for is screen brightness, and it's going to ask me to adjust the brightness, as you can see in the window over here, up and down until we get the brightness into the middle. So we need to go down in brightness. All right, now we're going to begin the, the color response here, and you can see There'll be a lot of different colors. We'll speed it up time-lapse wise. So now, as you can see, we're at a point where it tells us to take the display, flip the diffuser over, kind of just set it down on the desk like it does. I mean, there's pictures for everything. And we say next and measurements successfully completed. We just say, okay. And now you can see that the color patches all have diagonals basically showing what the before and the afters were in regards to this profile. Um, pretty set up, it, it's that simple at this point. All we need to do is save the profile. Um, and like we said, here's the profile name, iMac, and we're gonna go right with the uh, date and check it every three weeks. And now I say save profile. 
profile has been successfully saved. Click OK to dismiss this dialog box. And now you can see you've got everything set up using the new profile. The screen is now calibrated. And I give you a bunch of pictures up here so you can look at before and after. So um, you can see the color space profile itself. You can see the graph with all the different measurements in it. And then you can look at a bunch of different pictures. So I can scan down here and look at pictures. And here's what this picture would have looked like before and see how bright and over it is. And now you can see how it prints once the monitor is calibrated. The iMac monitors tend to be very, very bright. So as a result, um, here's after and here's before. So now when we call up images to be working on, our monitor will be much closer, if not identical, to the prints that we're be, we'll be producing. So uh, once you're done all this and you're set and you're happy, uh, away you go. So it doesn't hurt to look at the graphs once in a while. You can see the linear graphs and how everything went. You can see the, uh, um, the, the color target and where it is. And you can see where this is. And you can also do comparisons of before and afters and so forth. But let's not get into that. Bottom line is you're all set now. Your monitor is displayed and profiled. And one way you can check that is go into System Preferences, Displays, Color, and you can see right now we are now using iMac right with the date here as our profile. Once again, thank you very much for popping on by. You can see how easy it is to profile your monitor. If there's nothing else you do, this is one of the most important tools that you can buy to keep your colors straight from your monitor to your output devices. This is Kevin Raver from PhotoPXL. Thanks for visiting. If you've liked this video, please think about subscribing. Also, you can hit the bell button to be notified when we have new videos, and we got a lot of them that we're working on. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.